Hi everybody. Hi everyone. And welcome to the Twin Set and Pearl Knitting Podcast. It's episode six. And it's Saturday, April 16th. And we're together at my house this weekend because it's yeah, Easter. We're back in our pre preferred podcasting position. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Rachel. And I'm Jo. And you can find all about us in the description box, box below where we put everything that we talk about and where you can find us on Ravelry, Instagram, etc. And um, so we're just going to start off, I think. Yep. With what we're wearing. Yeah, shall I go first? You go first. So I am wearing my lovely love note that I finished, talked about last time, I think. You stroke yourself. Sorry. <laughs> it's so soft though. <laughs> and I knitted this in some yarn that I dyed myself. Um, it's got the, purple and green speckles. Fluff just came off, yeah, and some drops <laughs> mohair held double. I did a short sleeve version, and it's just the right length, and I love it. And it's very soft, and it's about 20 degrees in the UK. Oh, and it went Oxfordshire today, so actually, it's quite nice yeah. to wear it. And what you're wearing something, and I'm wearing an FO. So I finished my um shawl that I was knitting. I'm going to take it off because I'm actually a bit hot wearing it. Um, so um, it's uh, a large um, triangle shawl where you start from the tip and then it goes through three different patterns, twisted and got a stitch border. Um, and then these um, triangles where we bring in the mohair and then a section with triangles where it's just the, just the four ply um, and that extends until you get your large triangle and um, the mohair carries on all the way up and then at the end you're doing a border at the you? end you're doing the same border that was on the on the beginning so you end up with these twisted stitches and at the moment i'm trying to decide whether to add some little tassels or some fringe along this section and maybe even here as well. Um, I put a poll on Instagram and the results was 51% yes to tassels and 49% no. So at the moment I'm wearing it a little bit without just to see what I, what yeah. I think. And what um, we called it. Ah, so yes. So we just, <laughs> Rachel actually came up with a name um, and the name is going to be Trillion. So Trillion is the cut when you when a gemstone is cut as a triangle, mm -hmm. and um, it's also I didn't actually know you'd caught you decided to go with that yeah, um, and it's also I guess lots people say trillions and trillions don't they lots and lots of things and there's a lot of triangles <laughs> so I thought that was quite a good name um, so at the moment it's uh, I'm in the process of writing it up and I'll be putting out a testicle. Uh, a tester call towards <laughs> the end of um, April. That's for you, um, Bex. Yeah, hoping, uh, hoping to get it um, sort of released mid June. So I usually give testers a month, a month to six weeks for a large, for a large shawl. Mm -hmm. So and what uh, yarn did you use? So the yarn is from the Wool Kitchen, and that was a collaboration. Yeah. So um, Helen very kindly donated the yarn for me to. Um, design with and the, the grey is called grey matter and the mohair which is absolutely beautiful is called incandescent cool and she'll be doing kits I hope I'm hoping she'll be doing kits I have I've asked her so um, so yeah uh, if you want to knit exactly the same one then uh, I've already got I've a already... great stash buster yeah if you've got yeah, mohair you've and because you actually don't need very much mohair I think it comes in a obviously like a fifty gram yeah oh my skein, goodness. and I've got all that left over. <laughs> wow. So which makes me really think I should do some kind of tassels or something just to use a little bit of it up. But um, yeah. but yeah, no, it's lovely. Cool, cool. And so, that's all being that was all being kept in my yarn of all bag with my stitch Aww. birdie badge. I might put my badge on mine. Um, yeah, stitch a tease bag. Right, so. FOs, FOs. I've got one, so shall I just yeah. do it? And this also, we can talk about 
Um, we've got a cow going on at the moment in our Ravelry group and on Instagram actually. So this is the crest of a wave cow and, or is it just crest cow? It's crest cow on the hashtag, mm. is, yeah. it's crest cow. But like, all that information will be down below and that runs until the end of June. So I cast on, um, and I've shown in the, in the past episodes, um, a crest of a wave cowl, which I finished. So I have an FO, and this is knitted in blue iguana by Mr. B. And you can see the Bird street yarn now. Oh, sorry, Bird Street yarn. Now. It was Mr. B. It was yeah, the, on the, the, the label yarn. says Mr. B. And um, you can just see the eyelet pattern there. So we've got three patterns which you can knit in the cowl. Mm -hmm. um, this the cowl is a free pa pattern all the time. Yeah. And then there's the crest of a wave shawl and the crest of a wave crest bandana cowl, which aren't free, but you can get them free if you use the code crest cow in all caps. And that's that um, valid until the end of end of June. June. Yeah, end, when, end of the cow. Yeah. So even if you're not, you can get it. If you listen to our podcast, you can get it free even if you don't join in in the end. Yeah. But the the two cowls are one skein projects. So if you've got some one skein mm. skeins of yarn that you're not going to plan for anything else. It's quite a nice little um, present for somebody. Um, or and the shawl is actually it's actually knit in a heavy lace weight, um, but you could knit it in fingering, and you would probably need two skeins yeah. for that. Cool. We've got, there's some. If you go onto the Ravelry group, there's some. Yeah. I have not. In there. I have not <laughs> learned how to put pictures into this video yet. So unfortunately you have to go, but there is a link to the Ravelry group down below. So you can hop on yeah. over and have a look or look at the hashtag on Instagram if you don't use Ravelry. Mm. And if oh. you don't use Ravelry and you want to join in, just DM me on Instagram. I'm, we are both at Twin Set and Pearl and we can send you the pattern. Yeah, send you the pattern because they are essentially free until the end of the cap. Yeah, cool, cool. So I've got two other FOs. Um, last on the last podcast, I mentioned this yarn, which I had naughtily bought when I was in Edinburgh, um, and I was meant to be on a yarn diet, on everything, you were on everything, everything diet. Everything. diet. Yeah. But I ended up um, buying some yarn to knit a friend a pair of socks, and I bought this. It slipped into the basket while I was in the queue. Um, and it's a yarn called Meadow by the Fiber Co. And it's actually a lace weight yarn. Um, it's 498 meters to 100 grams. So quite a heavy lace, really. Um, and it's 40% wool, 25% llama, 20% silk, and 15% linen. Oh, this is the baby poo yarn. <laughs> this is the baby poo yarn, yeah. And it's called, the colorway is called Prairie. Um, and this, it's beautiful. Is, this is what I've got left over and I've designed, uh, um, I'm, as we all have gathered, I'm <laughs> obsessed by the Morton Street cowl shape and I've designed another cowl. Oh, it's got a tassel. Uh, it's got a tassel. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, and this is just a really simple eyelet pattern. Um, so really quite, you know, quick, easy to remember. Um, and it's, um, Nice and lightweight because it's this. Give me a look at the other knitted heavy lace. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, and I'm calling this the ginger ale cowl because I was drinking a glass of ginger ale and it's exactly the same colour. <laughs> so it's not baby poo, it's not prairie, it's ginger, ginger ale. ale. And let me just have a quick look at how you've done the tassel. Ah. So I plaited it. That's cool. And um, you looped it through. Yeah. Oh, I love it. It's so soft. Yeah. I want it. So um, well, you can I borrow it? it if you want. You can have that to knit, knit one. Was that enough to knit one? There's 45 grams left. So you would be, you'd have to do like maybe that, mm. that much oh, less. Oh, thank you. Well, I will. Um, so um, I haven't done the pattern for it yet, but um, it's very simple and it will be, it will be, um, I, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Do we need to test things like that? I don't know. Um, Depends if you want to test Yeah, so I'll do a test call and see if anybody um, wants to test it. But the um, 
it could be a couple of weeks, few weeks before, but I've got okay. quite a lot of patterns to write. And the shawl takes priority. Cool. Um, and then my next FO is another carol. <laughs> now, this one is um, was fairly simple it, from my point of view because um, it's a pattern, a shawl. I d I've adapted a shawl pattern that I already have to make it into this shape because effectively you start off with the same shape as the as a, as a shawl and then you join it in the round. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to pick. I just I was wanted to make one for a, a shawl for a present for a friend. Um, now I've, when I was knitting it, I discovered she actually likes blue. So this won't be going to her. I'm going to do another one for her. This has That's to be kept one, for you because it's so one of my special. whips. But this yarn was a special colourway for the Yorkshire Yarn Fest. Um, it's called Friendship. And I think you bought me this by Botanical Yarn. I bought it you, yeah. Last yeah, summer. you bought me a, we had a skein each. Yeah. And um, this is the Silver Dollar Carol. So Silver Dollar is a shawl which um, has got these lace patterns. And it you, forms like a checkerboard. You designed it for me. I did. <laughs> um, so it forms a checkerboard and then at the bottom you have this, ca this cable section that just adds the border. Um, okay. On my on the shawl, it's I've also added tassels. So I've added, I added two tassels here and mm. then a tassel on each end. Um, You're not going to bother. Wash. You're not going to bother with tassels. Not going to bother with tassels. So you've been I, wearing this. I have been wearing this today. I really like. I really like this. Well, the colour just adds a little pop. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to be really nice with um, a linen shirt or a, just a white t-shirt. Um, oh, with this denim, yeah, it's lovely. So um, the pink, the, the, I love the pink and the teal. It's mm, gorgeous. Yeah, it's it's um, it looks it's so looks so pastel the yarn, and then you suddenly get darker pops. Yeah, beautiful. Um, what was I going to say? So silver silver dollar is one of my favourite patterns I've designed, um, but you do need two skeins to knit the shawl, and this now gives you the opportunity to knit. Um, if you've got if you've got one skein of really fabulous mm. yarn that you want to use, yeah. um, and you get almost the same effect. the same effect as the shawl, but yeah. you don't have bits lovely. the bits here. So I might add tassels. I've still got I think two yarn, on the so I might add some tassels. Maybe not as big as the ones I did mm. on the shawl, but anyway, um, what was I going to say? So this will be the instructions on how to do it. I'm going to add to the silver dollar. Short as an update, as an update. So, um, oh yeah, just the bottom because basically it's the same charts. You'll just you just need to know how many repeats you need mm -hmm. to do and then when to join, and um, and that's once it's that's in the it. round. Once it's in the round, um, knitting instead of purling. Yeah. So um, so yeah, I love it. Right. Yeah. So that's. What's it going to? Yeah, so are you, are you going to get it tested? I won't get it tested. I don't think it needs testing. I'm just going to, I'll add it in. Um, so anyone who's bought the pattern? Anybody who's bought the pattern will get an update and anybody who buys the pattern will get a cowl and a shawl. Mm. Brilliant. Cool. Um, and the last thing I wanted to talk about was this cowl, which I mentioned on the last podcast. But the, the pattern is like imminently going to be going for testing. Somebody mentioned in the comment when would the pattern be available mm -hmm. and lovely listener if you <laughs> would like to test knit my pattern get in touch i'll be putting up a um a call for testers on instagram sometime, sometime and this, this is coming oh yes we're calling it i'm calling it the talsano cowl the talsano cowl and talsano is a place in wales that we used to go camping as, as children. So um, our mum and dad were friends with a farmer. We used to camp in his field, which is literally a tap in the corner. Um, Clean your teeth and, under the tap. Um, an outside toilet like down a lane. And that's where we used to camp as kids. But the, it was beautiful beach and- um, It's near Harlech. Yeah, and just right on the- Port Marion. Yeah. And it's a beautiful area. Um, you could walk over to Port Marion when the mm. when the tide went out. So, yeah, 
Yeah, so we must have gone there every summer. As yeah, from, from the age of about eight to, yeah. to six. I think 16 was the last time I went there. Um, I went camping with my friend Ruth there when, when we were doing our A levels. Mm. Oh, actually, no, I, I went camping with my first boyfriend from university there. And Dad had to come and save us because we ran out of money. <laughs> I remember breaking my toe on a rock on the beach and then waking up and hearing a sheep outside the tent. Um, <laughs> so, this, so obviously this cowl brings back lots of memories. Yeah. But it's beautiful. And it's knitted in bamboo cotton. Yeah, by King Carl. Called the, a DK. So it's going to be... Yeah. It's going to be a nice yeah. little quick. And you've been wearing it. You've been wearing it. I have been wearing it. <laughs> Makeup. Yeah. Right. So, should we carry? Are we doing fo um, whips? Whips. And I've got I, I've got two of your cowls. As whips. Oh right, okay. So should we just carry? It's carry cowl, cowl. It's cowl city. So, I have done a bit of. I've put in a, mark, a progress keeper to show you how much I've done of my Morton Street cowl because I'm keeping going. And this is my cowl that is in Chester Wool Co. Silver Sparkle Lace. With um, so it's lace weight with silver stellina, and since the last podcast, I've done that much. So it's actually was... it's actually deceptive because you've you've got quite a lot of stitches at this point. Yeah. So <laughs> if if I was following the pattern, I had one more repeat, which is two row repeat. So two more rows, and then I would be doing the the border, and I've been umming and ahhing about whether to stop because I don't know if I want it longer than than that so I, mm. I have got a feeling that I'm going to just do the border yeah and stop but I've been looking at it and I just love I want a sweater in this yarn in this texture <laughs> I love it so oh, much it'd be so nice for Christmas I was thinking it? about maybe just doing a raglan and just doing the sleeves in that texture mm. yes so, yeah so I shall possibly well, I can't buy it. I, uh, confessions are coming, <laughs> but maybe, maybe later in the year I'll be, I'll have broken and I'll be buying lots of yarn and I'll yeah buy some more and yeah. So that's just I do when I you know want a little kind of half an hour hour away from knitting on my urgent sock designs. <laughs> So that's my Morton Street cowl, and that is living in my... The one that started it all. <laughs> that's living in my Fibre Fox bag, which her lovely mum sews. And it's my next cowl. So I finished the Crest of a Wave cowl, and I had to cast on the Crest Bandana cowl. Because, mainly because, so this is living in my woolen flower beautiful beautiful navy blue bag which is as i said before me in a project bag I what love it. um what was in it for um the crest of a wave oh, i think yes yeah so i just used it straight away so i was watching the latest episode not the latest episode the previous episode of the, of the knitting place because they podcast every week and they were talking about these this yarn from shopple Wool, which is called the Zauber Perlin, Perlin and it's um, a gradient yarn, 100 grams, and it comes in these little already caked up mini balls, mini skeins, and I'm on the third one at the moment, so this is my cowl, which I, I'm on the last repeat before I join in the round, so then you can see it'll be but you can see the crest pattern on it and it is a very start I don't I was a bit thinking maybe I should have faded it but it's done I'm not unpicking it <laughs> and I figured that that bit is going to be mm. round yeah, my neck it'll be like playing like yeah. yeah so or so this is really so that's the second color and it works I think it must be six ply yarn because it takes six it takes five balls in the middle and then you get back to the black, solid black. that's going to be a starker? I don't know, contrast. maybe. I'm not even showing it. 
I don't know. So I'm on the third one. So that that one is one gate, one strip strand of black, and five of white cream, and then that's two, three, four, five, and then you end. It's going to end on the black. So it's very soft. It's 100% merino yarn, and it is lovely. And I can't remember. I bought it from Ida's house at Unravel. Um, I think when it was sweater weather, that sweater weather at Farnham Malting, yeah. so not Unravel, but sweater weather. And so last last September. No, it wasn't. It was Unravel, the first one after the lockdown. Right. Because they were in a different place, I remember. Mm. Um, and it wasn't. I, I love this monochrome, so that's why that's the reason I bought it. But the knitting place had a lot of beautiful, more colours. beautiful mm. colours. Yeah. yeah. But the yarn is lovely, and I completely recommend. Um, buying it and it's 100 grams but it's a bit longer I think it's well seven minis like seven mini skeins 100 grams because yeah, I would say I wouldn't have thought that you would have picked black and white I know it's 400 meters I know but okay yeah. mm. so I will be working away on that once I join the round I'll be yeah Cool. Zooming on. So that's my two cowl whips. And so I have another cowl whip. Okay. Because I've started another pattern, another design. Oh my god. I'll stop her, someone, stop her. I I'm I'm gonna take this one instead. I'm just gonna drink my um Um so this is this is the blue one for my friend who likes blue. And it's oh. in Diddy Aunt Yarns. And they had a crowdfunder for their um, Inspiring Yarns adventure, which is trying to, off the top of my head, um, help people with mental health issues through knitting. Um, and this is called, um, the colourway is called Gathering, and it's their exclusive for their crowdfunder. Um, it looks a lot bluer um, caked up than it does did in the skein. And I'm really happy that um, with that because my if my friend likes blue, um, I'm not a blue person. No, I, I wear denim. Blue. I wear denim blue, but I don't really wear blue. Whereas blue is my favourite colour. Mm. Which is weird, isn't it? Yeah. So she made I, herself some special pro. I did make stitch markers, so that, that's just going to not be annoying. I'll just pop it in there. I made some stitch markers. That's my starting of a row marker, and then. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's going to be. It's actually this one. There. It's going to be very um, quite simple to, to the begin with, and then it's going to have a slip stitch pattern um, on the border and some um, three by one rib. Lovely. But I really like this yarn in on the um, reverse stocking stitch. It looks really nice, and it's just got this little twisted bit up the middle. And the, the make ones are forming this eyelet with the twisted stitch are forming this eyelet pattern, which I think looks very good. It looks really nice. So, um, yeah, so I just started that yesterday um, and did a bit of a doodle and a bit of a <laughs> worked out the stitch that I wanted to do. So, um, what's that bag? Have you spoken this about bag, it? I have shown this before. This is from Mole View. Um, Not beautiful. And it's got the little caption that says, "Where we're going, we don't need roads." <laughs> but I love this. Um, this was this was actually one of the ones that broke my fan. No buying. No buying fan oh, well, because well. I saw it and I thought they're not going to be around forever. I need it. <laughs> and that's the same thing, isn't it? But yeah. I have I have become better at waiting. And really deciding if I right. want something. So that's a lesson that I've learned. <laughs> so is that your... I've got two more whips. Sweater. I've got two sweaters. Right. So what should we do next? Should we do... Let's do a glow. And then we'll, yeah. I can do all the socks. Oh, well, Okay. You've got your sock whip. I haven't got a sock. No. We'll do these and you do the other, do your other okay, sweaters. Fine. And then I'll do cool. Socks. So we're both knitting my second.
second sweater design. That mine's living in my botanical yarn unravel purchase, which I love. And mine's living in my botanical yarn unravel colourway. Oh, yes. And the new Exclusive. style. Very nice. Bag. And I've made a lot, I think, a lot of progress on this since I last showed it. So that's the back. So I've finished the colour work. And I'm just rest... getting Sophie's message up because she told us what all the colours Oh yeah, were. and the rest of the yoke. And I split for the sleeves. And I'm about six inches into the body now. So I've done there's some short rows in the back. Right, and your colours, the yellow is Acamilla Mollis. Is that what you're saying? Yep. The silver grey is Cottledon Undulata. We can put this in there. The pale pink is Helleborus Angel Glow. And the navy is Globe Thistle. Mm, that's beautiful. And I really like it now. I love it. <laughs> so I'm desperately trying to finish this little this skein <laughs> so that I can... Um, Put it on hold and do the sleep knit, knit the sleeves which is what i tend to do when i knit a sweater and at the moment they are on i'm using these cords plastic cord, hollow cords that you slip your needle in you stick that on the end of your needle and then you just slide your stitches on and hold them with a little cat and these are from beautiful knitters there are lots of them around at the moment but i'm really liking hers and they're really good value and they come with stoppers. I haven't seen the stoppers. No. At all of them. And you get two that are kind of the length you use for sleeves and one, one for the body. body. And three, 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 three stoppers. stoppers. Yeah. So I think they're right. I think she's pounds. just started doing a black and white set. Yeah. If you're not into the bright colours. But they work really well. So they're holding all my stitches at the moment. And, um, and that should hopefully. I'm hoping to get this done before we go on holiday. Right. That's done. my goal. Done, totally done. I'm hoping to get. Yeah. I'm hoping to get onto the body by the time yeah, we go on holiday. <laughs> well, I obviously don't work, so no. I knit all the time. So mine is. Um, I'm on just on the fourth and final colour work section, and my colours are the light brown fawny colour. Is you want me to read? Shall I hold it and you can read it? Yeah. So that's this one. That's called. That she's using in the middle. Pampas grass. Good. And then I've got the purple is. Papa Papaver Rowith. Named after plants. Or plants, like yeah. And then the pink is Helleborus orient orientalis. And that's Probably like a, yeah, it's, yeah, it's got it's like got, a, um, speckle. I'm really happy that I've got loads of that one left because <laughs> that might have to become a, um, muscle bra. Ooh, hat. You've only got and some then head, the, so. the grey is dogwood grey. That's your main colour. That's my main colour. It's beautiful, isn't it? So yeah, so I'm really Even if I say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really liking that. Um, and she's got a cute little progress keeper from the gift kit. That's what it's called. The gift shop. Gift, knitting gift, gift shop. shop. Yeah, something like that. Like a little um, rose quartz. Yeah, it's beautiful. Cool. And you have made progress. I have. I, I picked it up again last Thursday? No. What day was today? Saturday. It must be Monday. I picked it up, I think. And I was there. So you've done whole... And that's just... Um, I took it to work on Wednesday. Um, and I had... I didn't take any cut. I just took the grey with me. Because yeah. I had six rows of plain and two pearl rows yeah. to do. And I did it by lunchtime. And I don't know, I had nothing over oh, to do no. in the afternoon. So... Uh, Is we working again? Well, no. I am working no. because I'm on, pro I'm on calls. Yeah. And you can't... Do other stuff while you're on a call anyway. So I just sit and knit when I'm on a call. But um, yeah, very good. It, it, um, well, the test, so that's obviously in test. Joe's one of my test knitters. So that's in testing at the moment and it's going to be launched at the in person Yorkshire Yarn Fest 
um, at the end of May. So if you're going to be up in New York, come along. So I was hoping to get, um, well, I don't know, maybe I will have the body done before we go to Tenerife and mm -hmm. I'll take the, 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 the sleeves. I wouldn't, I don't want to knit, knit a jumper in Tenerife. No, so. I don't know. Anyway, I've got two jumpers that both got to be finished by the end of May if I'm going to. That's in a very small bag. I don't think it you've is. done much. <laughs> Show them the bag. <laughs> the bag is another woolen flower bag with, and Stitch Birdie. with some embellishment by Stitch Birdie. I think I've shown this before. I showed it on mm. the no, second podcast. I got it at Unravel and I absolutely love it. Beautiful. She's amazing. She is amazing. So this is my Daydreamer by Andrea Mowry. It's a very bad photograph. It's very dark and you can't really see. But it's this slightly cropped all over cable, all over cable V-neck sweater. Um, and I'm loving it. It's in, I'm knitting it in this yarn, which is Debbie Bliss Fine Donegal in the colourway Moy. Have you rewound that? Sorry? Did you recake it? No. Um, and I have joined, done the rib, joined for the, so joined the two bits of the body together. That's the back. That's, this is the back. Yeah. And I, um, I think I'm at row, Fifteen of the pattern or something. Oh my goodness! Um, but the, the I've learned how to do crochet bobbles and I absolutely love them. And I'm cabling without a cable needle, although I have got a cable needle there. No, that's actually the crochet my hook. remender thing with the crochet hook on for doing the crochet bobbles. I'm not cabling with a cable needle. Um, and yeah, it takes me about an hour to do two rows. The cable row and then the, the plain yeah. row. So um, you so need it's to, very slow. You probably need to focus on that rather than missing umpteen new cowls. <laughs> I do, but I want the one. I'm only using one new cowl okay. for my friend, and then I'm stopping. I'll let you off. So, um, so yeah, it's this is one though that you have to know you've got a certain amount of time to be able to do the two rows. I don't right. like to leave it um, in the middle because I. Don't Forget one, do you? It's beautiful. Isn't it? Um, yeah, it's going to be a. And I think um, a I'm just a little garment. bit worried that I don't want it as cropped as she as the. Oh, I think I've even more rows to do. Yeah, so that's the only thing. It's a lovely colour, but um, it's blue. It's green. Okay. <laughs> it's blue, blue green. green. Blue green. Um, yeah, so I am. I'm really enjoying. It. I haven't done anything on that since I've been doing. Right. Um, amethyst glow, though. Okay. So, um, yeah. Where the whip? I have yeah. done some since the last podcast. Mm. I don't think you're going to get it done in time. No. Not that I ever think I could win anything in one of her giveaway. Giveaway. Not giveaway. Away or can't whatever. knit along. Yeah. Right. I think maybe I did pick the wrong bag. Shall we go? Let's shut it in. Shall we go for socks? I don't even know if I. have I finished though, yeah. Right, so yes. I've got quite a few pairs of socks to talk about. I first thought I'd start off with the simple ones. So these, these are my um, April, I keep getting confused. I keep calling them my May socks, but they're not. It's I think it's the weather that's making us think it's later in the night. I know, and also nice. it's, so, it's lovely, it's bright yarn, nice bright yarn. Anyway, I've got my yarn here. So you hope you hold that for me. That's my, so I'm knitting a self-striping sock every month to use up my self-striping sock. Is this yarn thicker? It's 80-20, it's high twist. Right. So I don't think it doesn't, I don't get a different gauge. It just feels it. a bit yeah. denser. So this is Dotty Wool Company in one of their friends colorways. And I lost the tag, so I can't remember which one it is, I'm afraid. But if anybody knows, please put it in the comments. But she does have them still listed, I think, this one on her website. So you can tell by the colours. And in my stash, I just happen to have the perfect 
yarn for my heels and toes. And this is from Knit Crate and it's got sparkle in do it. Do you do that because you don't like the stripe on the heel and toe? Yeah. I don't like my striped. Like it's really annoying to me that that's only one line. So. But anyway. So this is Knit Crate. I've had it for ages in my stash and I have used a little bit in the past with things, but so it's, you can get quite a lot of heels yeah, and toes. Yeah, it's got Stellina. I don't know if you can see the Stellina. Anyway, it's just called Apple. But I've got, so I'm going to start my second one and get them. That's just what I knit when I'm chatting to friends because it's just a vanilla one. And it's the first month that I've actually just knitted a vanilla sock and not done a new design. <laughs> so I reined myself in and just decided to do a vanilla. And then, um, and that's living in my jean bags bag <laughs> from um, Willow's Shake Shop in Abingdon. And that, they literally, that's like, they cost four pounds. And I love them. They're perfect <laughs> for socks. And so, I don't know if we're talking talk about Bridgerton or, um, what's the other one? The other one, I've only knitted one of. And these are coming out soon. This is a collaboration. I'll do that one first and then do that. This is a collaboration between Botanical Yarn and me and the Flower Power Fund, who every year, Sarah, she's amazing. She's a doctor who works for Marie Curie and she organises, there's a, there's a, there are a team of them. Um, she organises um, yarn dyers, and patterns that people design for people to knit socks for Marie Curie. So her aim is that every Christmas, everyone in a hospice will have a, get a pair of socks as a present, which is lovely and amazing. I think it's something like, it's 500 pairs of socks, something like that. Oh, I thought it's a lot more than that. Well, maybe it is. I just no, thought she got- What do you do in hospice and at yeah. Christmas? I think, I think it'd be a lot right, anyway. 500, but- it possibly is, I will. <laughs> Don't listen to me. But anyway, so Sophie has offered to... Sophie from Botanical from Yarns. Yeah, sorry, did you say that already? Is, has obviously wants to dye up yarn and contribute to the money to the fund, to Marie Curie. So she is dyeing this little set. These are 10 gram minis. And I have designed... So when I was... Sophie put me forward, basically, for the design. And when I was chatting to Sarah, she said, I really want someone to do a colour work sock. And there, um, the symbol of Marie Curie is a daffodil. And so a lot of the yarns that dyers dye up are yellow and green. And stuff. So this isn't quite, um, this is kind of what I've done in a more botanical yarn kind of way, I guess. So anyway, I had a little play around and I've now, I've designed this sock, which I'll put on the blocker, <laughs> which is, and we're calling them the tete -tet socks, which are, is a type of narcissus, it's a daffodil, mini daffodil. And so they've got a pico cuff, folded cuff, and then a daffodil and a little in between colour work so that you don't have to carry your floats. <laughs> we always like that. And there's a little bit of lace above and below and then on the toe we've got, I've done, done the same lace. And we're hoping that these are going to be released, we haven't 100% decided when, but possibly, they have been tested, so possibly could be even next weekend at Wonder Wool Wales, which would be quite appropriate because of the daffodils. So yeah, so those are my Tete Tete socks for the Flower Power Fund. So we're giving. Oh yeah, we're one hundred percent of our yeah, proceeds. The proceeds will go, to will the go forever. So, however many we sell, hopefully we'll sell lots of patterns and raise them lots of money for a good time to come. Yeah, so I'm really pleased with those. They worked out. Mm. Yeah, they worked out really well. So my, I spoke about my Bridgerton collection last week, last podcast, 
And since then, I have managed, I don't know if I've managed to put when, seasons. What was the date of our last podcast? I can't remember. I think it was about three weeks ago. Hmm. So at the end of March? Yeah, so at the end of, I so managed. I had, had one just come out? Anthony and Anthony. Kate had just come out, I think. I thought I was talking about, I talked about Kate last time. But I managed, I've managed to make two e-books. So season one is all together, eight, there's eight patterns, and that is in an e-book for £24, I think. So that's 25% off if you bought the pattern separately. And the season two, um, if you buy the e-book, you get, as the, as the patterns get released, they get you get an update with the next pattern so, and there's going to be six so i just wanted to kind of show you the ones that are like come out or you know, go over again the ones that come out because there is i think a little bit of bridgerton fever going on and we've got people are dyeing up different colorways and stuff like that and it's quite exciting so and also my three socks that i'm so next is going to be um, benedict and that, I've got three different dyers yarn that I'm using, two socks each. So that's the first three have now been released. Well, well they're coming on Friday the 22nd, the, the Benedict ones. So we had, first of all, we had Anthony, and that was in Bird Street yarn in the Just Rust colourway. So Anthony is... A fair, a simple but fairly looking fancy, fancy yeah. looking cable, and it's actually very easy if you've never done a cable before. And I think the the cables all go the same way. Do they go different ways on each sock? No, they go the same. They go way. the same way, yeah. so you don't have to worry about am I doing it all which, right? Or, you know which sock you're putting. Yeah, which. left or yeah. back or front or whatever. You do it so, the same way all the way through. Yeah, so that's makes it more simple, I guess. Yeah, and. My picture, the sneak peek of Anthony got has got the most, it's over 900 likes on Instagram, the most likes he's ever had for a picture. So, and wait till they see Colin. Colin's, Colin's our favourite, um, <laughs> although I do quite like Benedict. But anyway, next was Kate, and this is in the Fiverr Fox yarn in the Kate colourway. So she, um, we collaborated um, and she dyed up Kate and Eloise for me. So Eloise is coming after Benedict. She's the fourth one. So this is the second pattern. And these came out a week ago yesterday. And they've just got an all over lace. So that's a very simple pattern as well. And I have to say thank you to Maggie because she actually knitted both of these samples. I have knitted, I haven't actually knitted a pair of case. <laughs> Maggie is my saving. She's amazing. She's my best knitting buddy. We chat every week. She's part of the team. <laughs> She's also test knitting a couple of my yeah. things as well. So thank so you now, very much, Maggie. I'm going, to put, I'm going to put Benedict on the sock block yeah. because he's new. Although I can, and the other one I can show you in more detail, the front and back, because Benedict is the artistic member of the, if you, if you watch Bridgerton, you know, mm -hmm. he's the artist. He likes to paint. And these are coming out on the next Friday. On the he, he also wears he wears frilly, frilly yeah. So frilly. Have you what, that, they call, just, they, what are they called? It's like a shirt. It's part of his shirt or neck. Yeah, it's like when you wear a, a tux, isn't it? And you have that kind of dress shirt with the yeah, with the I don't know, it's like a black, like a, black, yeah. black card. Is so it he thing? is he is definitely party in the front, business in the back. I like I, that's why. I designed him. <laughs> uh, so there's this kind of frilly, very easy repeat. And then on the back, it's just, it's actually a texture that in the book that I took it from, it's supposed to be like that. But they showed the front and back and I preferred the back. <laughs> so I made it so that the that is what you saw, that texture. I don't know. Anyway, so this is what it looks like on the blocker. And this is in Botanical Yarn in the Hydrangea Blue Velvet colourway. And it's got these gorgeous speckles, teal and 
like a chartreuse green mustardy colour. It's lovely. And yeah, so these are, my testers are finishing up right now and they've got some beautiful ones. And he'll be coming out on Friday. And so if you check our, if you follow us on Instagram, um, or you know, have a look at our Instagram account on Friday, there will be a um, discount code for twenty five percent off. And we are we're Twin Set and Pearl on Instagram, which obviously there's a, that'll be mentioned down below as well. So those are the Bridgerton socks. That's it, I think. Yeah. Yeah. God, I thought I'd. I I've know. got. I've got a lot. I've got. Three more designs on the needles, which I can't talk about. <laughs> are we so, are we doing um, acquisitions yeah. for the final final thing? So then? we're gonna. Yeah, I think so. Did you get the other acquisition from upstairs? I didn't. Do you want to nip and get it? Yeah, and I'll talk about my. Let me just quickly pop this sock back in here. My acquisition. So it was mentioned briefly on the last podcast um, when I was talking about getting my um, the yarn for my friend's socks that I. I was going to be purchasing some more sock needles because I've realised that my tension is too tight on a 2.5. So I ordered this set, which are is a set of higher, higher flyers. They come in this really cute little pouch. I, I kind of wish that the zip shut like that, so that it was like a bag <laughs> when it was shut rather than open. But I guess you can have it open and hold it there to do your... While you're knitting. Yeah, so that's quite a good thing. Um, and in the set, you get um, five sets of needles from a two millimeter to a 3.5, which were really handy. The 3.5 were really handy for me because that would be ribbing on a sleeve oh, or, yeah. or whatever. Um, so yeah, so you get five sets of needles. I don't know if I'm going to knit it with two millimetre, but there we go. I knitted some trainer socks with two millimetre. And then you get a stitch gauge. Oh, that's I'm cute. Not a stitch gauge, a needle gauge. <laughs> you get these really cute little um, needle protectors or uh, tip, tip protectors, but I'm not going to keep these. These are going to be a present for... Rachel's friend Amanda, who is, loves everything. She is Manda Panda. Manda Panda, and she also does knit, so she'll find these useful. But how cute are they? <laughs> Although I'm not sure about sticking a needle up a panda's bottom. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, Maybe so, she can use them for something else. Yeah. Maybe they could just sit on the side because they they are very cute. They are quite cute. So yeah. So there we go. Oh, they're knitting socks. so cute anyway there we going to amanda <laughs> when rachel next sees her and then the final thing you get in the kit is a little pair of snips they're handy aren't they good. i'm not sure how big they are but <laughs> um but yeah not a, not a bad little kit um and it came really quickly from Yarn works, I think it was all ordered them from. I just googled higher, higher flyers, and that came up. And I thought, I thought it was why not wool stack? It could have been wool stack. Anyway, she will put it in the yeah list because other people might want to buy them. Yeah. Although you, you did just Google it, you get that nice little. That's pretty cute, bag. isn't it? Yeah, and as I was saying, I kind of wish it was shut with the handle there. But then you can then hold that to ah, yeah, your knitting in. Yeah. So that'd be quite, and it's, it's a nice size for a sock. Mm. So yeah. So I have a confession. <laughs> your I've, confession this time. I've, I've bought yarn. I broke, I broke. So we bought, this was- oh, Did we, you buy this one first? Yes, I bought this one first. And this is one skein each for me and Jo. So she is going to design a new cowl because that's what that's for. <laughs> and this is Third Street Yarn in the Shropshire Lass colourway, which I think was, we, we were allowed because we're from Shropshire. We grew, we grew up, up in Shropshire. Shropshire. <laughs> so 
So with so Shropshire lasses. Shropshire lasses. So we are having it, and I'm going to I'm going to design a pair of socks in that. It's are we going to do it with the same pattern? I think we should. Yeah, it is beautiful. It's beautiful, yeah. So that's the first. I feel like so that was my. Would you do socks with a bobble? No, I hate socks with bobbles. I really want to do bobbles. I did a mini bobble on the March, um, on the Delft hyacinth. Mm. Um, but I don't like. I don't think I'd wear them in shoes. People will wear them in shoes. Okay. So you could do. We could, maybe we could do it on on the leg, and not on the foot. Yeah, I was just thinking maybe around the yeah around the top. Anyway, side. anyway, so that is beautiful, isn't it? John and Claire, you can tell their yarn from honestly a mile away, but you can't. But yeah, <laughs> looking at it, you can tell it. So I also bought my first Heldon Wood craft Flip bag. And it's perfect for socks. <laughs> Can't what, what size is that one? That is the small, like the sock sack. And it came so fast. And the packaging and everything is beautiful. And I love it. And I've been using it. it my socks got put in it as the day it arrived. But I've also bought more yarn. So I was watching the Knitting Traditions podcast. Inga. Lovely Inga. And she was talking about a book by Sandra's Garn that's just coming out of mag their magazine. And this is the February 2002. Oh, no, it's not February, it's just the second one this year. Anyway, it's a, it's a magazine and it's got some amazing... She was showing... Did they do one a month? Pictures, I don't know. They're only £8. So I googled, I really like this one. It's a bit like a ranunculus, and it's in mo, but it's in mohair. And she was so she was showing this one on her pod, last podcast. So I was looking to see where I could get it from, and the knit with two t's dot co dot uk website came up, and they had it. So I put that one in my basket, and then I put this one in my basket. Um, at the moment, got I have to say that the patterns are base, not basic. The some of them are simple, some of them are basic kind of designs, but you have to. They're not for no, they're not for a beginner. You have to know what you're doing. Yeah. To, so at the moment, to my be able head to follow their instructions. I'm yeah. not in the right headspace to actually work it out but I will knit them. I, I've knit a baby garment from there mm -hmm. from one of their patterns and it's very much a European style pattern yeah. where it just says repeat the pattern to yeah. this size or whatever so it doesn't bought, tell you give so as much this, detail yeah I bought this third one mainly for this pattern That's lovely. which is DK and I want to do the stripey one on the back. I then, yeah, that's lovely. I then, so I put that in my basket and I thought to myself, should I just have a look and see what yarn they have? Why did I do it? Why did I do it? Anyway, I bought, not too bad, a sweater's quantity of Juniper Moon Farm Patagonia, which is organic merino. In this colour, icicle, which I love. I think that's an icicle. I don't think it's an icicle, no. but that's what it's called, I'm afraid. <laughs> and it's beautiful. It's You get 350 metres for 100 grams, and it's DK. Oh, it's, they're so light. Yeah. Wow. So I'm actually going to des not design a sweater. But I'm going to knit, because I don't want to grade it or anything. But I'm going to knit a raglan sweater. And on the sleeve, actually, I think I'm going to use the Palomo, is it by Spastrico? Yeah. And in, but instead of the twist, just the twisted rib down the sleeve, I'm going to put on it the stitch pattern that I've put on the April socks, which are coming out on... Thursday, can't. That's a secret until Thursday. 
that's what I'm thinking of doing. I was thinking about putting the pink haze, the February pattern on, but then I decided, no, I'm going to do, I want to do a raglan. Just no brainer. And I like the Paloma because it's a deep, it's a, like a deep mm. yoke. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. With but not for a while. No, because I've got to finish out. Oh, so it's not, it's not very summer, is it? No, I've got to finish out with this glow. I want in it another love note. Mm. And I want, I've got some cotton yeah. that I want to knit. So you're, that's kind of your dream, dream knitting. This is my dream knitting. So I bought a back, I back subscribed to Pom Pom and had five Pom Pom magazines arrive at the same wow. time. So, you know, that's an evening. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I really want to knit this, but I'm not knitting a crop. I'm too old for a crop. I mean, over some, like I wouldn't wear it like that. No. Over the top or something. I saw but some even then, I'm, I'm, I've just got too long a body to knit that. Yeah. It would be is it it's nipple, it's nipple grazing. Is it knitted sideways? Yes. But there's two versions. There's two oh, right. um, two lengths, so and beautiful. I don't know if they've got a picture of the You're longer one. Seeing twisted one. stitches everywhere at the moment. Yeah. I am. I don't think there's a picture of the longer one. But I mean, sorry, but it's a tad risque. Anyway, um, <laughs> to knit it, I there's like gappage. It's there. a it's a DK weight, so I might just have to take the pattern and. Fiddle around with it myself. Yeah. But um, how long is the? How long? Is I really want to buy some a cone of linen cotton from Woolly Knit to be able to do it. How long is but the Woolly Knit? Is a non -cotton? That's a thing. That's a lace weight, so you'd have to hold four strands to get a DK. The long, the long version is what size are you? I how, how much ease does it have there? Three and a half inches of ease. So probably a three. 40. 41? Yeah. So you your length for the non cropped is 12 and a that's fine. Yeah. 12 and a quarter yeah. body length. So, um, but I thought that's, that doesn't look like DK to me. I would have said that was a fingering weight sweater. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, that would be dream knitting for me because I don't even own the yarn to knit that. Oh. So um, at the moment, I've got your sweater, that other sweater, to finish. Um, I've got two secret projects that are happening that are by July. I've got some yarn from Bird Street to design a sweater with them, yeah. um, which I've got an idea for. So maybe, maybe not next podcast, but one after yeah. that, I'll be able to share a bit more about that. Oh, um, and at that point, I want to knit something for my for summer, yeah, which would probably be that. So, um, yeah, buy some yarn, cool, or maybe look for your stash. Yeah, I've got some, du I've got some double knitting from Drops, the Bell, mm -hmm. but that really looks heavier than I've knit with it. It looks heavier, yeah, than it that. does because that's what my um. Understated I'm going to have to take this away and have more room, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've really been talking for an hour, so I think it's time to wrap it up. Yeah. But definitely take a look at our cow. We've we started to um, put together some really good prizes and um, join our Ravelry group. So there's some good FOs and chat going on, on over in the chatter thread. And if you like our video, Obviously, subscribe. Um, we've got a chat for the cow, but if you are knitting any of our other designs, it'd be really nice to... Um, and you can start threads yourself, yeah. if you remember. It'd be really nice to see other things that you're knitting, especially the Bridgerton socks mm. or, um, you know, any of the shawls. Yeah. I know shawls are a bit more of a... Um, what's the word? Commitment. Commitment project. Yeah. Um, but when, think, maybe when the when maybe when the crest cow's finished and all the Bridgerton socks are out, we should have a Bridgerton sock cow. Yeah, that would be cool. Knit your favourite Bridgerton <laughs> character. character. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 
anyway thanks thanks for watching mm. and um we really appreciate everybody yeah. who takes the time to listen to us mm -hmm. which are on about our projects and um awesome. we really enjoy um sharing everything with you guys yeah. so if you like this tick the box below or the thumbs up and uh, and subscribe and um okay. share with your other knitty friends yeah. let them know that um that you like this podcast and um that we've got a cow going and they can download some free patterns and have a go yeah. at the at some of the cows and the shawl and and all that would be great and so we're hoping that we'll podcast we will or we, if we get to if we get to ten if ba don't cancel our flight which is what i'm worried about at the moment um if we get to tenerife we will definitely be podcasting from tenerife and um we'll see you then have a good yeah. easter weekend everybody cool bye bye